everyone. Welcome to Crash Course in Cybersecurity, where we are going to discuss key concepts and best practices. My name is Parul, and I'll be your guide in this Crash Course in Cybersecurity. I actually received a request from a subscriber, and he said that he is facing difficulties when it comes to understanding cybersecurity, what it actually is. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to provide you with a condensed get comprehensive overview of the essential concepts and best practices to strengthen your cybersecurity defenses. First, let's start uh, with the key concepts. Understanding these are these core principles will lay the foundation for a robust cybersecurity strategy. Uh, so we, we are going to explore topics such as threat landscape, risk assessment, and the CIA triad that is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Uh, the threat landscape refers to the evolving landscape of cybersecurity or cyber threats, such as malware, phishing attacks, and social engineering. Understanding the different types of threats and their potential impact is essential in taking proactive measures to defend against them. When we talk about risk assessment, it involved, involves identifying and assessing the potential risks to your digital assets and systems. By conducting a thorough assessment, you can prioritize your cybersecurity efforts and allocate resources effectively. So the steps, main steps included in risk assessment are identification of the risk, their assessment. Based on the assessment, you can prioritize them and the high priority risk will be controlled first and so on. And then you can review or monitor the changes right? If you're happy with it, good. If you're not happy with it, you can again perform the assessment and, you know, change the control mechanism. Third one is a CIA, a confidentiality, integrity, and uh, availability. It is a fundamental concept in cybersecurity. Confidentiality means that sensitive information remains private and is accessible only to authorized individuals. Integrity means the accuracy and reliability of data. Data should be accurate and reliable. You should be able to rely on this data. And availability means that information and systems are available. They are accessible when you actually need them. Not, uh, next, let's dive into best practices to fortify your defenses against cyber threats. By implementing these practices, you can significantly reduce risk of unauthorized access and data breaches. So the number one in the list is creating strong and unique passwords. It's one of the first lines of defense. So you should avoid using easily guessable information and you should always opt for a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters. Apart from that, it is also necessary to use a different password for each online account to minimize the impact of a potential breach. Uh, you can implement multi-factor authentication. It will add an extra layer of security. Uh, many students ask me what this multi-factor authentication actually is. So multi-factor authentication is the extra layer of security. So it is like you fill in the password and then you will receive some notification on your mobile to verify whether it is you or you may receive an OTP, right? To again, verify whether it is really you. So that is like, now, uh, you know, it secures your account, right? It, it provides a second form of verification. It can be a code sent to your mobile device, right? So apart from password, there is another uh, line of defense. Another practice is uh, regular software updates and patches. These are essential to protect your devices and applications. These updates often include security fixes, that address known vulnerabilities because when you download the software, maybe it is secure then, but then, you know, maybe there are some vulnerabilities or weaknesses. And so, you know, certain updates are being released to fix those vulnerabilities. So you should make sure that, you know, you are regularly updating these patches. You are regularly updating the software. So make it a habit to keep your operating system, uh, all the software and apps up to date. Another thing uh, is firewalls. So firewalls uh, act as a barrier between your device and the internet. 
they monitor incoming and outgoing network traffic they also help filter out potential threats and unauthorized access attempts it is recommended to have a firewall enabled on both your network router and individual devices and you can also set the rules for certain websites using your firewall another point we have is antivirus antivirus is a software it scans your device for malware viruses and many other malicious software it will detect and remove the or sometimes it will quarantine any threat it identifies it's important to have reliable antivirus software installed on your system and just like uh, regular software updates you should also keep your antivirus updated next we have is backup and recovery backup and recovery strategies for data are crucial in case of a cyber security incident or data loss so you really need to back up your important files and store them securely either offline or in cloud storage you can use a pen drive you can use a hard drive so in case something happens to your system you will have the data right you will still have it right you can easily recover your data even if it is compromised right um and now let's also delve into safe browsing practices um phishing attacks are one of the most common forms of cyber threat and these attacks are like where users are tricked into revealing sensitive information to the hacker so you need to be cautious of these type of links now suspicious emails specifically uh, links and attachments as well you should always verify the sender's authenticity before sharing any personal or financial information or even clicking on a link sent via email it is also important to recognize secure websites for uh, the protection of your information during online transactions or even when you are sharing sensitive data or accessing a website so whenever you are accessing a website or you have to perform a transaction or you have to share your sensitive data always look for https uh in the website url https it indicates that the connection is encrypted and it is secure social engineering tactics uh, i also want to discuss a uh, social engineering tactics uh so these are tactics or strategies used by hackers they you know these are like impersonation or manipulation or even exploiting you know human behavior to gain a, unauthorized access to information so it can be through a phone call through an email address you should be cautious of unsolicited requests for personal information and you should always avoid sharing sensitive details with unverified sources furthermore mobile device security is increasingly important in today's connected world so you should secure your smartphones and your tablets with strong passwords or even biometric authentication or uh, you should be cautious of downloading apps from untrusted sources and regularly update your mobile operating system as well along with your apps in the mobile and uh, that concludes our crash course in cybersecurity key concepts and best practices while this video provides a solid starting point Remember that cybersecurity is an ongoing journey and staying informed is paramount. Thank you for joining me on this crash course. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new here uh, so that you can get more cybersecurity insights and programming tips and tips and information on various subjects. Stay proactive, stay secure and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.